So from the beginning, beginning, clothing. I always was looking for cool clothing when I was younger, very drawn to clothing. It was kind of a struggle to deal with how much clothing made me feel inside, basically. I really felt a lot and um, it started as a small child. And then another thing is the passion for interiors became a thing when my father was in real estate and we went to a bunch of open houses and I was seeing all of these floor plans and I got to bring some of the floor plans home and I saw how they were constructed and so I decided to start drawing them myself and I actually mapped out my first dream home. My clients right now are in Washington DC. I love Washington DC. I love the structures that you get within um, the district. It's amazing to work with those. It's also a struggle at times, but it's worth it. Uh, I work in Northern Virginia and Maryland as well. I am um, trained and experienced in both residential and commercial work, so I can hopefully one day get into hospitality projects more so in the future. So I approach designing a space through certain types of observations, a lot to do with psychology. I've always used this method at the very start of designing with my clients, so it was very natural observation and it kind of led me to what my studio's mantra is, which is called keeping out of character. I wanted to bring ideas to the table for my clients, not so much as projecting ideas onto my clients because I didn't want to um, kind of taint their vision that they have because it's very important uh, interpersonally where they live. Some of the key questions that I use are how do they use their space? How do they naturally interact with things in their surroundings? How do they live and how do they aspire to live? How do they even describe living and how do they dress themselves in fashion-wise or style-wise in that aspect? So um, the answers to these will help guide the design from the very beginning. And it's an extremely important part of the process. What I would recommend is go with the idea or ideas you don't think other people or everyone will like because when you start designing in that way, you start designing for yourself, which is an elevation of your self-expression. And just one other way to elevate your home is lighting. It's basically an unlimited expression. Um, it's a guide, it's a showcase, it's also super sub uh, subjective and structural, it is just amazing. I love lighting. Even within the same stone group, you can really easily achieve the unexpected. Like, it's just amazing with, with crystals. They basically are limitless in style, influence, energy, sculpture, like so many personal and interactive things. Um, the thing that I love most about them is that they're always evoking something. It's not hard to look at a crystal, you know what I mean? The lighting just dances on its surface, so it's basically the best pet rock ever. 